All right, welcome to tonight's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. He's Mike Clef. I'm Ross Bowen. We have nine games to get to tonight, including stops at Faith Christian, McCutcheon, North Montgomery, and Twin Lakes, just to name a few. And we start, though, with Central Catholic taking on West Lafayette on the Red Devils' home floor. Since the 1993-94 season, the Knights and Red Devils have met 12 times. Central Catholic had won 10 of those meetings prior to tonight. And one of those many in attendance, a young fan, great sight, good crowd on hand. Knights up as many as nine, but the Red Devils rally. Drake Danford, what a pretty behind-the-back move lay-in, and he also draws the foul. But Central Catholic comes back, maintaining the lead in the third quarter as Danny Anthrop, he had a good game. Just he, like Drew shoot it. Yeah, that's right. He hits the jumper. Knights maintain the lead. And then it is Joe Tharp getting the ball in the corner. The lefty winds up and slings it home. And CC up three late in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, West Lafayette's Sean Bush is going to get the ball from behind the arc. Actually, no. He's going to go in for the nifty move right there and the lay-in. But it's not the last you'll see of Bush because Bush this time will get the ball from three-point land. He cans that one. And Red Devils have a one-point lead. Game tied at 44, 3.5 seconds left. And it's Central Catholic's Matt Burks at the free throw line. And he hits it. The Knights are up 45-44. Red Devils have a chance, but they're not able to get off a desperation shot at the buzzer. Central Catholic edges West off getting a thriller by a final of 45-44. All right, Faith Christian hosting Covington, and it is the Trojans, Christian Bridwell. He knocks down the triple, and Bridwell finished with 12 points in the game for the visitors. Then Covington stretching out their lead. Alex Frechette, the offensive rebound and the follow. He had a good game. Trojans up four. We'll tell you more about Alex in just a moment. In fact, coming up right now because in transition, he takes it in strong. That was a pretty good effort. Gets the bucket and the foul. Frechette led Covington with 20 points. Big Christian rallies playing without star player Steven Toira, who has a sore foot. The offensive rebound and basket by the Eagles, Jay Jung. Jung, a big game. Double-double, 14 points, 11 rebounds. Eagles keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Caleb Dutton, no relation to Caleb Martin. The pass to Connor Sandy for the bucket and the foul. And the Eagles are within three, but Covington comes back. It is that guy again, Alex Frechette. Watch the nifty moving around and jackknifing in the lane for the hoop. Trojans go on to defeat the Eagles by a final of 64 to 52. I Ross? bet they stopped at the beef house afterwards. <laughs> Principal Beaker. The Bears didn't even make the playoffs. Come on, man. <laughs> Mavs trail 47-37 to start the fourth. Make that 50-37 as Fishers knocks down the triple off the out-of-bounds play, but McCutcheon would not go away. Check out this tough shot by Trevor Lockwood with the turnaround baseline jumper. 50-39 Tigers. Then it's Mark shooting them just like his older sister. Neil knocks down the triple. That cuts the lead to eight, 50 to 42. Then with the ball up for grabs, it's a Cree to Lockwood who finishes with the soft touch. Lead is still 10 for Fishers. Moments later, it's the freshman. This kid is going to be good. Trey Sean Hurd with the dribble drive. McCutcheon trails by nine with under three to play. The Mavs would not back down on this one. They just couldn't get stops when they needed them. Wandale Real with the long jumper right here, 55-48. McCutcheon still trails and that would be the difference in this one. The Mavs fall in this one, 58 to 50. Fishers wins, and that is a final. First quarter, Twin Lakes up early. They get the bucket right here, Brian Moore. He hits it from the corner, Indians by nine. Will Morgan stops the bleeding for Frontier. Mike says it's good, give him all three of those. The Indians remain in control as Tyler Reddington slices inside and scores. Nice dribble drive right there. Frontier tries to get back in it. Luke Kane, he hits a three from the wing. Give him all three of those. Nicely done shooting Luke. Hey, Mike says it's good over here. You can't see him, but he's holding up the touchdown. Cody DeBoy, he's gonna score right there. Then, Reddington drains a jumper from just inside the arc. After that, back to DeBoy. He hits it again. DeBoy was feeling it. This one's a two just outside the lane. Twin Lakes win this, wins this one. 60 to 37 is the final. And that will do it for the first quarter of tonight's Friday Night Frenzy. All right, there are still plenty more to get to on this evening's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy, including stops at North Montgomery, Carroll, Lewis Cass, Pioneer, and Attica. The Frenzy will be right back.